Hey there, it's Monique from NowYou'reCooking.ca. It's the holiday season, so let's make some Jamaican sorrel. Sorrel drink is commonly served during the Christmas season in Jamaica and other parts of the Caribbean, but nothing's stopping you from enjoying this refreshingly spiced drink all year round. It's made from the fresh or dried sepals of the roselle plant, a species of the hibiscus family. You could find the dried variety in most Caribbean or African grocery stores. I've also seen them in Latin markets and the international aisle of some major grocery stores in the city. To make this festive drink, you'll need about one package of dried sorrel, a couple of pieces of fresh ginger, make sure to give it a good rinse, an orange rind, some allspice berries, cloves, two cinnamon sticks, and about two cups of sugar to balance out the tart taste of the sorrel. I'll be showing you how to make some simple syrup with this. Oh, and of course you'll need about four liters of water. It's not 100% necessary to wash the dried packaged sorrel, but if you're using fresh sorrel, please make sure that you do. For the dried sorrel, you could just give it a quick rinse under some cold water, as using anything warmer than that will start to remove the color. If you're like me and love ginger, you could use a couple branches like I did. To get the maximum flavor, you have to smash the ginger to release the aromatics. It's not every day that I get to use my meat tenderizer, but this definitely does the job. You could also use the back handle of a chef's knife or even a can from your pantry. You probably would want to smash the ginger inside a food safe bag so pieces of ginger don't go flying like they did in my kitchen. If you don't want to smash it, you could just slice the ginger or grate it. Rinse an orange and carefully cut off the rind. Try not to get too much of the white pith as it has a bitter flavor. Since this is a big batch recipe, you'll need to grab the largest stock pot you could find. I'm using one that has a pasta insert to help with the straining. Add in about 4 liters of water, cover and bring to a boil. After the water is nice and hot, you could start to add in all your ingredients. While the stove is still on medium-high heat, give it a quick stir to make sure everything is submerged in the water. After a couple minutes, you could already see the color starting to change to the red hue of the sorrel. Turn off the stove and remove the pot from the heat. If you're using granulated sugar, you could stir it in while the pot is still hot. This will help dissolve the granules easier than it would if you added it to the cold drink. But if you're using simple syrup, you don't have to worry about any of that. In a small saucepan, bring one cup of water to a boil and then reduce the heat to medium-low. Add in two cups of sugar, stirring until fully dissolved. Remove from the heat and allow to cool to room temperature. And that's it! You could even add in a couple shots of Jamaican rum for good measure. As your sorrel is steeping, your rich simple syrup will have time to cool down. Now this is a more concentrated version of basic simple syrup. It has a 2 to 1 ratio of sugar to water. I'll post a recipe link in the description box below. Now back to the sorrel. Ideally you want it to steep or draw for at least 4 hours. Steeping overnight in the fridge would be preferable in order to bring out the best flavor, but if you have no piachans, a couple hours should be fine. Right before you're ready to serve, you need to strain off all those aromatic ingredients you added. The last thing you want is someone choking on a pimento seed. Make sure you squeeze out all that flavor and dash what you strained into the compost. Set a sieve over a large bowl and carefully pour in your sorrel drink. You could see that I took my time here using the ladle. If you're a risk taker, just dump the whole pot in. You may have to do this a couple of times if you don't have a bowl large enough for all that sorrel. If you didn't already add sugar to your sorrel mix, you could add the cooled simple syrup in at this point. 
And since this is Jamaican sorrel, you'll also want to mix in some red label wine and some rum. Totally optional, of course. I used about 250 milliliters, more or less, not including the rum I already added to the rich simple syrup. If it tastes good now, you could pour it into a pitcher for serving. Just be careful that you don't make a mess like I did. You and your guests could dilute this with a bit more water or add some more simple syrup a teaspoon at a time to achieve the desired flavor for individual servings. This tastes perfect just chilled from the fridge, but you could serve with ice and garnish with citrus spirals or mint. Definitely refreshing, this bold and delicious drink also has a lot of health benefits as it's high in vitamin C, flavonoids, and has antioxidant properties, which all the alcohol and sugar I added probably canceled out. Regardless, this holiday season, make sure you enjoy a glass of this Jamaican sorrel drink. Thanks for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed learning how to prepare some sorrel. The full recipe is posted on my website at nowyourcooking.ca. If you haven't done so already, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. You could find me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. See you soon!